Over the last four years while I've been dropshipping, I've generated over $5 million in online sales. And with the success that I've had over the last couple years, I always think about what are the things I would have changed whenever I first started off and all the things that I learned. So that's why in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a complete breakdown of all the things that I would have been doing if I was to start off at square one with only $100. So take out your pen, Take out your paper because in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to start dropshipping with only $100. What's going on everyone? My name is AC Hampton. I'm an eight figure marketer who teaches people how to test, build and scale profitable e-commerce businesses. If you know who I am, welcome back and thank you for always showing love. If you're new here, welcome in and strap in for some value. Before I head into the value each and every week, I have the opportunity to hand out a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call. I'll be announcing the winner from last week somewhere inside this video, but if you want the chance to win this week, all you have to do is comment the word start with your biggest takeaway from this video right in the comment section below. And with it being a new month, that means I opened up 10 new spots in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship for entrepreneurs like you who are ready to learn how to make a passive income online. So if you're ready to stop wasting time, money, and effort into the wrong direction, make sure you head over to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton and DM me the word mentorship so I can help you get started successfully with one of the limited spots that are available in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the value. All right, so let's take the success away. Let's take away the private suppliers. Let's take away absolutely everything. And let's get started with a $100 budget. Now, first thing is let's talk about some of the things that you need to be prepared to spend with some of the budget that you have right now from the start. And those two main things are going to be, of course, running your ads and the setup of your Shopify account. All right, so whenever you're first starting off, you're only going to need this $30 plan right here, but you guys can start with a free trial for 14 days with no credit card required with the link in my description that will give you guys enough time to start making profits before you have to start paying. Now, when it does come to ads, there's absolutely no way to get around spending money on this, but later in this video, I'm going to show you exactly the breakdown of how you could be setting up your ads to make the most out of your $100 budget. All right, so you've just now got in your Shopify store open for $0 with the 14 free trial, and now it comes down to choosing a free theme. All right, so Shopify does have a ton of free themes that have nice, clean looks and won't slow the speed to your store down because it's fully integrated with Shopify. And you can see right here on Shopify all the different free themes that they have. So you can see they have Tay, Studio, Craft, Dawn, since crave they have so many different free themes that you guys can take full advantage of and yes a paid or custom theme is nice to have but don't sleep on these free themes as this is the perfect way to start your dropshipping store on a budget with a nice clean layout that you can make your own by using the free shopify link in the free theme we still have a budget of a hundred dollars to spend and what comes next is creating your logo i always create any logo that i'm using for my stores right here on canva and Canva is honestly one of my favorite places to do any type of graphic design. Canva has many logo templates that you can use when using Canva Pro, which will run you about $12.99 a month. But when you're on a budget and you're saving all that money for ad spend, you can definitely create the logo from scratch on the free version of Canva. And let me go ahead and show you exactly how you would do that. All right, so right over here on Canva, you would just come over here to the search button, type in logo. And you'll see all these different logos that you guys can use. Again, half of these are absolutely free. So let's just say that you wanted to use this one right here. What I like to do is kind of start off with a blank canvas. So I'll just literally delete this part right here, delete this part right here. And then I would go ahead and center this, which is going to be the name of your store. For this example, I'm going to use Quick Shop. So let's go ahead and create this logo right now. So I'm just gonna literally come over here and type in Quick Shop. I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger. That looks good to me. We're gonna bold them. I'm gonna keep quick black and then I'm gonna just change this other text to blue. Come over here to elements, type in shopping bag. You can choose any one of these. I'll just go ahead and do this one right here. And I mean, that's basically it. It really only took me a couple minutes and only should take you a couple as well. And the best part of all that is I did it for absolutely free. So now that you have your entire logo built, your Shopify store open for free and a free theme downloaded, it's now time to get into the entire setup of your store, which you can check out right here where I give you an entire Shopify tutorial from A through Z with all of the navigations. The next part to the process of starting your dropshipping store with only $100 is finding a winning product. 
Now, as you all know, I love to use AdSpy to search through products, but that's going to run you about $150 a month. And four years ago, I did not have $150 to spend on an ad finder. That's exactly why you're going to want to download a free Google Chrome extension called My Ad Finder so that you can find winning products for absolutely free. And whenever you're trying to find this extension, just go to Google, type in My Ad Finder, and it'll come up as just like this. As you can see, I already have it downloaded. So the next thing I like to do is I head over to Facebook and turn My Ad finder on as it will auto scroll and do the work for me and find me all different types of advertisements but literally when you come over here to Facebook you just come and turn this tool on right here you go to auto scroll and it's just going to transform your entire Facebook news feed to every single advertisement that's running today and I mean you can see it doing it right now and basically from there you're able to put the three rules into place that you're looking for when it comes to choosing this winning product and that's one, does it solve a problem? Two, does it have a wow factor? And three, is it being sold for more than $25? So let's go ahead and take a look real quick and see what we can find. This product solves all three of those problems that we are looking for when it comes to choosing a winning product. All right, so we already know that this is a problem that literally everybody has. It prevents items from falling through the gaps of your vehicle. Looks like it can fit in basically any car. And I mean, it 100% solves the problem, has a wow factor, and we all know that this can't be found in any local Walmart, Target, or store. And even if we go ahead and click on the competitor's website, we can see that they're selling this item for more than $25. So that's just another check off of the list. So after shipping, the competitor is selling this item for $31.95. We can just round up to $32. Now, the next step will be making sure that you're able to find this product on AliExpress for a price that allows you to make profits off of the product. And as you can see, here's the exact same product right here. Now, this is the part that most people worry about, which is the shipping, but that's why it is so important to understand what you're able to spend on the product and do your supplier validation to find a supplier that suits you based on the shipping times and the quality of the products that you're looking for. So we're right here on AliExpress, and the first thing that I'm going to do is check what their feedback score is. And to find the feedback score, you just need to come over here to the actual seller and put your browser over the feedback score. And it's gonna bring you up all these detailed seller ratings. So myself personally, I'm always looking for a 4.7 star or higher based on the communication, shipping speed, and the item as described. And as you can see, that's exactly what we're getting for this product. The next thing that I'm going to be doing is take a look at what shipping options they do have available. And as you can see for this product, they have 67 cents delivery to have it delivered by May 9th, or $2.39 extra for shipping to have it by April 27th. So if you guys remember, my competition is selling this item for around $32, and on AliExpress, you can see we're getting this item for $10.62 plus 67 cents for shipping. And that method of shipping is around 30 days for delivery. And I also know that I wanna be able to sell this product for at least 2.5 times the cost of goods at bare minimum. So if I take this base rate of $10.62 and I multiply it by 2.5, that's gonna give me $26.55. And as you remember, my competition is selling it for around $32, which means that you have about $2 to play with to get faster shipping options in order to get right around that 2.5 margin on your product. Now, that may not seem like a lot, but that's more than enough when it comes to negotiating times with your supplier. So from here, I'd reach out to those four to five other suppliers who are selling this exact same product and negotiate with them with the $2 extra spend that I have and allow them to compete against each other and let them go ahead and give you the best price that you're looking for. Reaching out to suppliers and building a report with them is also the quickest way to finding a private supplier that will work for you. And it's exactly what I did to find mine, which has completely automated my store and all of my students as well. Now, I do wanna clarify that AliExpress is not your only option for suppliers. And just as you should be checking with different suppliers of the same product you're selling, you should be checking out some of the different platforms that suppliers use as well. You can check out some of my favorite supplier platforms in this video right here. Now, let me just reiterate, we've now just completely opened up your Shopify store for free, downloaded a theme for free, created a logo for free, and have now found a product that you can sell for absolutely free. That means we still have $100 to spend in testing, which is exactly what we're going to do next. But before I head into the testing, if you're having any questions about this video at all, or just how you can get started successfully with your own dropshipping journey, make sure that you head over to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton and DM me YouTube so I can help out in any way possible. Remember, it's not about how much money you can make in this world, but how much knowledge you can teach others to change your life. DM me YouTube if you need any help at all. Now, once you've built your general store and a product page for the product that we just found together for absolutely free, 
three, it's now time to start spending a little money and getting into the testing phase. And this has probably been the moment you guys have all been waiting for. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and get into this value. Whenever you're first starting your dropshipping journey on a tight budget, it's very important to know which creatives are going to work for you right off the bat, which is exactly why you should be doing something that I call creative testing. Creative testing allows you to test out the different advertisements and thumbnails that you can see on the market to see which one is going to give you the cheapest traffic to your store. I personally like to test out both my thumbnails and my videos and since we're on a budget, I'm going to show you exactly what I would do in order to get the most out of this creative testing. So let's say for this example that you saw two different thumbnails and two different videos surrounding this product that were getting a nice amount of engagement based on the comments and the shares. And yes, before you even ask, you can get those videos and thumbnails for absolutely free as well. As long as it's not watermarked, all you have to do is download the competitor video with fbdown.net. This is what I mean when I say don't reinvent the wheel. You want to test out what is already working and then as you continue your testing, test out different and better ways to market the product. Now you're going to want to know exactly which one is going to work for you and your store, but we do not have a ton to spend in order to get that information. So what you're going to do is take those two thumbnails and put them in a CBO creative testing with a campaign budget of $20 and a minimum spend of $5 and let them run to 2,500 impressions. From there, you would analyze which of the thumbnails brought you in the lowest cost per click, highest click through rate, and lowest CPMs. And if you have any questions on what that even is, you can check out this video right here where I give a full breakdown of all of your data and everything you need to know about Facebook ads. But in simpler terms, this just means you're going to be spending around $20 or less to find out which thumbnail is performing the best for you. And this is exactly how you're going to set it up. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So setting up this campaign, you simply just come over here to create. You go down to sales, you then go to continue, come over here to campaign budget optimization, turn this to $20, go ahead and click next. I would just go ahead and name this thumbnail one, video one. You're gonna go ahead and select your pixel. Budget and schedule, you can schedule it to right now. It does not need to start the next day. Come over here to show more options, asset spend limits, go ahead and turn this to $5. Locations, you want to target the same countries that you target in an interest testing campaign, which is for me, the top four countries. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm the United States, Canada, New Zealand, and Australia. Age, I like to do 21 through 65. I did forget to mention at the top, whenever you go ahead and choose your pixel, you do want to make sure you're doing a conversion event of view content. Detail targeting, you just keep this broad. You do not target anything at all. As we scroll down for placements, I like to use automatic placements. And then on your ad level, you're simply just going to add the one thumbnail and the video that you're already wanting to advertise with. And then when you're done setting that up, you'll just come over here and you'll click duplicate. You'll duplicate off of this. And then this one will be thumbnail two, video one. And then simply on the ad level, you keep the video the same. And then you get rid of that one thumbnail and replace it with the other one that you want to test. After doing that, you go ahead and click publish, and then you wanna go ahead and set a rule to turn this off at 2,500 impressions. So you just come over here to rules, you do create a new rule, custom rule, you click next. Rule name, greater than 2,500 impressions. Under conditions, we're gonna go ahead and type in impressions. Greater than 2,500, click add. Time range, you want it to be today. Schedule, continuously. And then after you click create, Facebook is going to do the work for you as their AI system is going to see when your ad set reaches 2,500 impressions, that it's going to simply just turn it off for you so you don't even have to micromanage it. Once you have this set up and your ads start running, it's going to take about a day or two for your ads to reach that 2,500 impression mark. And then from there, you'll be able to understand and see which thumbnails perform the best for you based off your click to rate, cost per click, and CPMs like I just mentioned. Let me give you a quick rundown of what you're looking for to determine what thumbnails work the absolute best for you. All right, so starting with click to rate, you want this to be as high as possible. And because this is an engagement campaign over a purchase campaign, you're gonna to wanna to see this number going to be a lot higher. When looking at your click through rate, you should be looking for a 9% or higher when determining which thumbnail did the best at grabbing the attention of your customers. For your cost per click, you wanna see this lower than 50 cents, which tells you that you're receiving cheap traffic to your store. And for the CPMs, you wanna make sure that you're seeing anywhere between a range of four to $6, which is gonna let you know that you're able to see this ad across a thousand people at the lowest cost. Once you have that information and data, you're then going to do the same creative test with your winning thumbnail on top of two videos that you have to test with that same budget that you use for your thumbnail creative test. 
By then testing the videos against each other, you should be looking for which video gave you the highest video watch time and the lowest CPMs. Once you get the data you're looking for from your creative testing, that means that you're able to use your winning thumbnail and your winning video to head into your actual purchase campaign. Before we head into our purchase campaign, we've now went through two different creative tests, which means that we're sitting at about $40 spent, which leaves us to around $60 budget to really get into testing. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and set up a $50 purchase CBO campaign with five different interests, all with a $5 minimum spent. A CBO means that I'm allowing Facebook to push money towards the best performing ad set, but still maintaining that $5 minimum spend that I've allocated towards every ad set. So ultimately what you'll be spending is about $50 on running your first campaign, which leaves us with around $10 to play with out of your $100 budget. So let's not just talk about it, let's go ahead and show you the setup of everything. So at this point, you already have your winning video, already have your winning thumbnail, and you'll just come over here to create again, come over here to sales, click continue, we're gonna name this cold interest testing campaign. As we scroll down, we're gonna turn CBOs on and we're gonna make it $50. For the asset name, we're going to keep this blank for now. Conversion event, we're going to do purchase. For the schedule, we're going to do the next day at midnight to give it a full day to spend. Show more options, we're gonna do $5 minimum spend. Location, same thing as before, the top four countries. Age, same thing as before, 21 through 65. And then here on detail targeting, you're going to select one particular interest that goes with the product that you're selling. So if we go back to this product right here, the leather cup holder that you use while driving, we can start thinking of some interest that might work for this product. So an easy one would just be driving. I do like to see an audience size of like 5 million to 70 million. So this is definitely a good size. I'm only putting one interest here. I'm not stacking up multiple interests. I'm only doing one interest in each asset level. Automatic placements again, and then we're gonna go ahead and name our ad set. So I'm just gonna take driving, and I'm just gonna name this ad set, driving, cold audience. So on your ad level, that's where you're gonna place the winning creative that you took from the creative testing campaign that had the winning thumbnail and winning video. Then after that is placed, you're just gonna come over here and click duplicate. You're gonna click four times. And then right here is where you'll start testing out different interests. So this one might be driving right here. This one might be Hondas. This one might be road trips. This one could be hiking. It could be whatever interest that you want, but that's where you're going to go ahead and allocate that on the ad set level. And then whenever you're done, you just go ahead and click publish. Now that you have your first campaign set up, you're able to start getting purchases and making that money that you spent back so that you can start to reinvest your profits and continue to build revenue that you can use on your e-commerce store. Whenever you're running your ads, it's important to be paying attention to your KPIs, which stand for key performance indicators, which is the number one way that you're able to cut ad sets that aren't working for you and allow Facebook to push more money into the ones that are. And this doesn't just only help you increase your profits, but it also allows you to test out different interests within this campaign that could work better for you and bring in even more sales and you can learn exactly how to read your metrics and maximize on them with this video right here we just went through an entire process of exactly what i'd be doing if i had to start back at square one with just a hundred dollars to my name to get my dropshipping career started successfully Starting your own online business doesn't have to break the bank, and it is more than possible to do even while you're on a budget. Social media has opened the door for entrepreneurs like you to start making money passively online, but it's up to you to drop the excuses and take advantage of the opportunity that is right in front of you. I truly do hope that this video helped give you the motivation to get started with your dropshipping journey, even if you're on a small budget. Smash that like button below and subscribe to my channel if this video is helping you get started. And do not think that I forgot about the free one-on-one -on -one consulting call winner from last week's video. And the free consulting call winner from last week's video is Ronald Washington. Ronald, congratulations on winning. Go ahead and reach out to me on my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton. We can hop on a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call, look over your ads, look over your products, look over your Shopify store, and help you out in any way possible. And remember, if you wanna win next week, all you have to do is in the comment section below, comment the word start and what your biggest takeaway from this video was. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Thank you for showing love. I'll see you all next week. This is AC with Supreme Ecom, and I'm out. Jake said we gon' spend it, get it right.